Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something fun lined up. We're going to be ranking all the Red Rangers from every season of Power Rangers. Yep, it's a big list, but we're ready to dive in. We've got some strong opinions on these leaders. And let me tell you, my opinions are the right ones. You guys will be totally convinced once we start ranking. Sure, Davis. Let's just see how long it takes before you start ranking people based on, I don't know, their hair color. All right, first up is the OG himself, Jason, the Red Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Jason's a classic. He's the first Red Ranger and had such a strong presence as a leader. He was the blueprint for all the future Red Rangers. Definitely more phenomenal for me. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, yeah, he's cool and all, but wasn't he replaced by Rocky? He can't be that good if he got replaced, right? That's because he had to go save the world outside of being a Power Ranger, Davis. He's more phenomenal for sure. Fine, I'll put him in more phenomenal. Happy now? I'm never happy when you're around, Davis. Rocky's up next. He stepped in as the Red Ranger after Jason. Okay, now here's a guy I can get behind. Rocky wasn't all uptight like Jason. He was laid back, fun, didn't take things too seriously. Kind of like me. Yeah, and that's why he's mid. I mean, he never really felt like the leader. More like he was filling in. I don't think he was bad, just not on Jason's level. I'm okay with mid. I say solid! He's better than you guys give him credit for! So, Ariko, Red Alien Ranger, he was different. Yeah, definitely different. He wasn't on screen long, but I think he was pretty solid. Alien Rangers were cool and all, but he didn't really stand out to me. I'm putting him in mid. I'll say solid. He did his job well, but we didn't get enough of him to rank him higher. Yeah, solid works for me too. More phenomenal! Right away! It's Tommy, people! Come on! Yeah, it's hard to argue against that. Tommy brought the same energy he had as the Green Ranger and made Zeo even better. I agree. Tommy and Zeo was top-tier leadership. More phenomenal, no question. Finally, we agree on something! Now, Turbo Tommy, this is where things get tricky. He wasn't as good here. Maybe because Turbo was just a rough season. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's still Tommy! You can't disrespect the legend! I still love Tommy, but I think Solid is fair here. Yeah, Solid. He just didn't bring the same energy as in Zeo. Fine, Solid, but he's still my boy! Now, TJ! This guy was awesome! He saved the team when Tommy left. He deserves credit for stepping up, but Turbo wasn't his best showcase. I think he's Solid. I agree. TJ was a good leader, but didn't have the same impact as others. Solid works. You guys are underestimating him. He's goaded for me! Surprising absolutely no one. Oh, Andros. He brought a whole new level of seriousness to being a Red Ranger. Yeah, In Space was one of the best seasons, and Andros was a huge reason for that. Agreed. Dude was a lone wolf but became an awesome team player. More phenomenal, right? Definitely more phenomenal. Same here. Leo's next. He wasn't a trained soldier, but he learned fast. He had heart, and I think that made him a solid leader. Hmm, I'd say goaded. He had some great moments. Solid for me. I'm with TK on this one. Solid. Fireman Ranger, more phenomenal. No questions. He was definitely brave and took his role seriously. Goaded for me. Yeah, goaded. Carter was a true hero. Wes had such great character development. From spoiled rich kid to selfless leader. I agree. Time Force was one of the best seasons because of him. He's more phenomenal. I guess I'll agree. More phenomenal. Eric's technically a Red Ranger since he had his own team. He was intense, but I liked him. He's like a mix of Wes and Andros. Goaded for me. More like a wannabe Wes. Solid. He's goaded. Cole had a lion sword, guys. You can't get cooler than that. Plus, he was all about nature and stuff. Totally goaded for me. Cole had a lot of heart. He was driven by his connection to nature and animals, but he wasn't the most strategic leader. I'd put him in solid. Yeah, he wasn't the strongest leader compared to others, but he had a lot of passion. Solid sounds right to me, too. You guys are always underrating the cool ones. Shane, the Red Wind Ranger. I think he had a really good arc. He started off unsure of himself, but really grew into a strong leader. Yeah, he went from slacker to protector of the world. I think goaded is fitting for him. Oh yeah, definitely goaded. He had that ninja flair, plus the skateboarding was epic. Wow, we all agree? That's rare. It's nice when it happens. Okay, now Hunter was technically a Red Ranger, right? He was crimson, but it counts. Yeah, he's considered a Red Ranger since he was on equal footing with Shane after the initial beatdown. 
He had that loner vibe, but came through when it mattered. He was a bit rough at first, but once he joined the team, he was great. I'd say solid. Agreed. Solid for sure. He was cool, but not quite goaded level. I'm with you both. Solid for Hunter. Connor was interesting because he started out as the stereotypical jock, but he ended up being a strong leader. Yeah, Dino Thunder was a great season, and Connor really surprised me with his growth. I think goaded fits. More phenomenal! Dino Thunder was awesome, and Connor was a cool leader by the end. Plus, that Super Dino mode? Insane! Fine, I'll bump him up to more phenomenal just for that. I'll stick with goaded. He really came a long way, but not quite at more phenomenal level for me. Jack was a great leader. He started as a street thief, but by the end, he was a true hero. He had a lot of heart and cared about helping people, which made him a great leader. I think he's goaded. Jack was awesome. Plus, he gave up his powers voluntarily at the end. Who does that? Definitely goaded for me. I'll agree on goaded. He wasn't the strongest fighter, but he had strong leadership qualities. Nick from Mystic Force. He had a lot of pressure being the chosen one and I think he handled it well. Yeah. Mystic Force was a bit hit or miss for me, but Nick himself was an okay Red Ranger. He had a strong arc, but he wasn't the best of the best. I'd put him in mid. He had a lot of potential, but the season didn't focus enough on the other Rangers for me. Yeah, I'll agree. Mid sounds about right. He was cool, but I didn't vibe with him like I did with some of the others. So Mac from Operation Overdrive. Trash, next. Agreed. Trash. Yeah, trash tier for sure. Tacy from Jungle Fury. I really liked his journey. He started off as the underdog and had to prove himself as a leader. Yeah, he wasn't the most confident at first, but he definitely grew into a great leader. I'd put him in solid. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have that instant leader vibe, but he came through by the end. I'll give him solid, too. Agreed. He wasn't as iconic as some of the others, but he was solid. Scott from RPM. Now this guy knew how to handle pressure. He had to lead in one of the darkest seasons and still came out on top. I loved Scott. He was a natural leader, and RPM was such a unique season. I'd say he's more phenomenal. Totally! Oh, Scott was a beast! The dude was fighting robots in a post-apocalyptic world. If that doesn't make you more phenomenal, I don't know what does! Yeah, I'm with you both. More phenomenal, for sure. So Jaden, the original Red Ranger from Samurai, he had that whole secret burden thing going on, which made him interesting. He was a solid leader, but sometimes felt a bit too stoic. I'd say solid. Uh, he was cool and all, but I don't know. He didn't stand out that much to me. I'm putting him in mid. I think he did his best, given the whole family responsibility thing. But I agree. He's solid, not higher. Now, Lauren, Jaden's sister. I loved her as the Red Ranger. She stepped in confidently and took charge right away. Yeah. Lauren was a breath of fresh air for Samurai. She wasn't around long, but she showed real leadership. I'd actually put her in goaded. Lauren was awesome. And let's be honest, she was way cooler than Jaden. Goaded for sure. I agree, goaded for Lauren. So Troy. Trash. Trash. Wait, really? I mean, okay, I'll agree this time. Trash. Tyler, now here's a guy who knew how to have fun while still being a leader. He brought so much energy to Dino Charge. Yeah, Tyler was charismatic, and you could tell he really cared about his team. He's goaded for me. Definitely goaded. He had a lot of charm and wasn't afraid to lead by example. We all agree, Tyler is totally goaded. Brody from Ninja Steel. I don't know. He didn't leave a huge impression on me. He had potential, but the season wasn't the strongest. Yeah, I feel the same. He had a lot to live up to with the whole ninja theme, but it fell a bit flat. I'd say mid. He was all right. Nothing special. Mid for me, too. Devin from Beast Morphers. I really liked him. He was brave, a natural leader, and the season was really good. Yeah, Beast Morphers was solid, and Devin was a great Red Ranger. He brought a lot of confidence and growth to the role. I'd say goaded. Yeah, Devin was awesome. His fighting skills and leadership were top notch. Goaded all the way. Zato, the Red Ranger from Dino Fury. He's been a strong leader so far, and I like his backstory as an alien knight. I really like Zato too. He's calm, smart, and a great leader. 
I'd say he's goaded. Agreed. Zato's got that classic Red Ranger energy. Plus, he's an alien knight. Come on, that's just cool. I'll go with goaded too. He's been really impressive. And finally, Amelia, the current Red Ranger. Oh, she's cool. I'm putting her in more phenomenal. She's good, but we still need to see more. I'd say goaded? I think she's great. Sorry, TK, but I'm putting her in more phenomenal with Davis. Figures. And that's it. That's our complete tier list of all the Red Rangers. We actually managed to agree on some things, even with Davis here. Hey, I'm just speaking the truth, and Kari agrees with me most of the time, right? Sometimes, Davis, sometimes. All right, guys, if you liked our list, hit that like button and let us know in the comments if you agree or disagree with any of our picks. Especially if you disagree with TK. Sure, Davis, until next time, stay more phenomenal. Wild Force, Master Orb, let's prepare for five more. Fight the floor, break off the horn.